Hallelujah. Let there be a bit of stillness here today while we dig into the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ made certain statements on several occasions. He said, Mind how you hear. Mind how you hear. Praise God. He said, So him that has, more will be given. To him that has, more will be what? Giving. Will be giving. Hallelujah. Amen. So it's your ability to hear what the Spirit is saying that causes you to inherit the abundance that God has prepared for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. I want us to realize that God has given us His Spirit for one purpose. You know what that purpose is? If you talk to the book of First, First Corinthians, Hallelujah. First Corinthians chapter two, verse nine. He says, "But as it is written, eyes have not seen, neither ears heard, neither has it entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for them." That what? That love him. But God has revealed them to us by what? By his spirit. Amen. For the spirit searches all things, yea, the deep things of God. For what man knoweth the things of man, save the spirit of man which is in him, even so the things of God knoweth no man but by the spirit. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now we have received the spirit. Not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God. That we may know the things that God has freely given to us. Hallelujah. Amen. Now let's stop there. Now what Paul is saying here is that the spirit of God was given to us to know things. Hallelujah. Amen. To know things that God has freely given to us. Amen. Amen. It is the knowing. It is the understanding. It is the awareness that brings the healing to the church of God. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 The Holy Ghost is not just given for you for to speak in tongues. It's not just given to you to put bread on your table. You know that? Yes. The Holy Spirit is given to you to receive the deep things of what? Of God. Hallelujah. It is given to you to have an understanding, insight into the mind of what? Of God. Hallelujah. Amen. No more just the understanding of a natural man. No more just the understanding of the mortal man of this world. But the understanding of what? Of God, hallelujah. Amen. So that you can walk like what? Like true children of what? God. Of God in the midst of a perverse generation. Hallelujah. It is the Spirit of God that what? Empowers me. It is the Spirit of God that does what? Enable me to walk and to fulfill the very will of God hallelujah. upon the earth. Hallelujah. Amen. You see it? I cannot be a good man. I cannot walk holy. You see, I cannot please God except I receive of what? The Spirit of God. And that Spirit of God will teach me all things so that I don't walk like an ordinary animal. You know? You know some people, when we walk as normal men, everything that is in your mind is what you will eat. Isn't it? What you will wear? How you get a house? Isn't it? Yes. And how to survive? That is all. Just like an animal. You know the animals in the forest? The animal thinks of what? What we eat? Where you lay his head? And that's all. You see, but God has given us the spirit so that we cannot walk like animals. We walk as what? Children of God in a perverse generation. Hallelujah. Amen. He has empowered us. The Bible says that Jesus said you shall be what? Empowered from above 
with the spirit of what? From above, the spirit of God. Hallelujah. That empowerment gives you knowledge. Hallelujah. That empowerment causes you to work with a transformed mind. You know what Paul says? Be renewed in your understanding. Be renewed in your minds. Praise God. There's a renewal. This is what they call born again. You begin to walk as your father. No more as just a carnal man upon the earth. Hallelujah. Praise God. You begin to be transformed into the nature of your father. Do you know your father is spirit? Do you know God is spirit? Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. God is spirit. And those who will worship God will what? Jesus. Hallelujah. You worship him in spirit and in truth. Praise God. He has given us his spirit so that we can fulfill this requirement. So that we can walk in the nature of our Father who is a spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. Now I'm going to go very deep. Praise God. Hallelujah. The Bible says that everybody died in Adam. All men died in Adam. Do you know that? Yes. It's written in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 21. Hallelujah. How many of us read our Bibles? How many of us read our Bibles? Amen. Amen. Shake your body, man. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 How many of us read our Bibles? Very few hands. Man, you know what? I love you because you are sincere. I expected everybody to raise his hand. Amen? Amen. You see, we have to learn how to fellowship with God on an individual basis. Do you hear me? Yes. God does not want people who will be coming to pastor every Sunday. Pastor, pastor, pray for me. Pastor, lay your hands on me. Pastor, I have this problem. God wants his sons to go into maturity. Amen. Amen. And how can you go into maturity? It's by communion, by having fellowship with what? With God. Amen. Amen. You have to open your Bible. Amen. Amen. Not just when you come to church. Hallelujah. Amen. Not on Sunday morning that we dust the Bible. We have to open the Bible. Hallelujah. Amen. We have to meditate on the Bible day and night. Meditate on the word of God day and night. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. That is what will give us what? The victory. Praise God. Hallelujah. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 21. Hallelujah. For since by man came what? Death. By man came also what? Resurrection of what? Of the dead. For as in Adam all what? Die. Even so in Christ shall all be what? Made alive. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. Do you know that we all died in Adam? Yes. Hallelujah. We all died in what? Yeah. Adam. Hallelujah. Yeah. You see, when you go out on the street today, and you see men walking on the streets, they are not necessarily alive. Do you know that? Yes. You know, death is a spiritual phenomenon. See, in the biblical sense, death is not just when you put somebody under the ground and bury him. See, all men died in Adam. It is a spiritual death. Hallelujah. Amen. When you are dead, do you know anything? No. Can the dead see? No. Can they hear? No. Hallelujah. Amen. That is how people walk when they have the, they are walking in the ignorance of the mystery of Christ. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise God. Hallelujah. But the evangel, that's the gospel from heaven today, is revealed to bring what they call an awakening. An awakening what? In the church. Praise God. Hallelujah. Have you heard of resurrection? Resurrection means to what? To awake. Hallelujah. Amen. Because in Adam, all men what? Yeah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now that is why some of us struggle with sin. Isn't it? That's why we have a sin consciousness. That's why we struggle with certain things in life. 
is because we were dead in our sins and trespasses. Praise God. Because if we know who we truly are, you will know that you are the image of the living God. Do you hear what I said? Yes. Look at your neighbor and say you are the image of God. Look at your neighbor and say you are beautiful. Say the Lord made you perfect. Hallelujah. Somebody look at the person and say this one. The Lord made this one perfect. No. <laughs> hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We do not look at the things that are with the physical eyes, but we look by the eyes of the spirit. Hey. Hallelujah. Truth is truth and truth cannot be distorted. Hallelujah. When God created man in the beginning, the Bible says that God created man in his image and in his likeness. Yes. Show me in the Bible where God created the devil. Show me in the Bible where God created a sinner. Show me in the Bible when God created somebody that is not perfect. Hallelujah. Amen. God is light. He's perfect. God cannot out of himself bring forth darkness. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody asked me that, why am I like this now? Why am I going through all these things now? Because we what? We died in Adam. Hallelujah. Amen. We died in what? Adam. In Adam. Hallelujah. Amen. But the time has come for what? Awake! Hallelujah! Awake! Hallelujah! 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 Awake thou that sleepest! Turn quickly to the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter that's chapter 52. Are we there? Isaiah 52. Awake, awake. Put on thy strength, O Zion. Put on thy beautiful garments, O Jerusalem. Hallelujah. Amen. The holy city. For henceforth shall no more come into thee the uncircumcised and the unclean. Shake thyself, hallelujah, Amen. from the dust. And sit down, O Jerusalem. Lift thyself from the bands of thy neck, O captive daughters of Zion. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, who's the new Jerusalem? Who's the Jerusalem? Who's Jerusalem? Yes. You are the Jerusalem the Lord is talking about. Yes. You are the city set upon the hill. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. The city set upon the hill is the new Jerusalem. The heavenly Jerusalem. Amen. Amen. When the apostle John saw the new Jerusalem. It was upon a hill, high mountain. And Jesus Christ said that what? You are that city set upon that hill. Hallelujah. Yeah. You are the light of the world. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. But you must what? Awake. Awake from the dust. Hallelujah. Yeah. You know when Adam transgressed? You know Adam went to sleep in the dust? At the end of dust, you are dust returned to that is Adam going to sleep in the dust. That was Adam in the state of transgression. Hallelujah. Yeah. When Adam was generated by God, the Bible says that Adam was perfect in the garden of Eden, isn't it? Yes. In the garden of pleasures. Hallelujah. Yeah. Adam had fellowship with God. Adam knew God as Father. Hallelujah. Yeah. How many of us today know God as Father? Very few people really know God as Father. You can say with your mouth, Father, Father, and I lie. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Very few people know God as Father. Amen. If you know God as Father, you will not fear. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. If you know God as Father, you will not think of tomorrow what you eat, what you wear. Because you will know that the Father is with me. Hallelujah. And anything I ask my Father, He does for me. Hallelujah. Amen. But Adam lost that license. Adam lost that knowledge of who he truly was. Adam lost the knowledge that he was the son of God. Hallelujah. Amen. And he died because of that transgression. Adam descended. The Bible said, Dust you are, and dust you what? You return to. Hallelujah. Amen. Look around you today. All men are sleeping in the dust. 
just talks about vanity. He talks about carnality. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Men have been what? Subjected to what? 